10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's who is the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 203 pounds. Butcher! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world, especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, man, head kick lands combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. And they separate. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's 
also keep it very busy. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Nice punch by Liv. Caught that kick there. And they separate. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Ooh. Oh. Big knee. Oh, nice. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking and he's rolling the slippage. He's doing a great job. Oh! He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Just misses with the right. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Lee. Big straight left. Got the single collar tie. Left hand punch from the clinch. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Beautiful body kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Tags him with the left. Nice combination there by Lee. Whipped his hip into that kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, could be in trouble after that knee to the head. Single collar tie here. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Oh, nice right hand, John. Look at the turtle in that kick. She is all about that left kick to the body. So a combination of knees here, you don't see this all the time where a fighter will, will throw multiple knees, but if it's not broken, they'll fix it. There's no takedown threat. If there was a takedown threat, he would not be throwing so many knees. But there's no threat to get taken down, so he is just letting those knees fly. Nice straight punch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Ten seconds to go in round one. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Oh, nice jab. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, nice right hand. Keep that pressure high now. My good 
this. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Lee. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. A oh, little single collar tie there. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great throw right now. Big leg kick lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, misses with the jab. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Shot to the body. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body up. Oh, and he caught the kicks. And there comes the separation now. Look at him with his hip into that kick. Single collar tie now. And now he's got the tie clinch. Oh, big head kick land. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. Watch the shot. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. What a body kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Beautiful strike. Right hand on the counter. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Big kick lands. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, beautiful meeting the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big knee lands right to his opponent's midsection. Caught the kick. And they separate. Just unable to quite find that range. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually, you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. 30 seconds to go in round two. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Trying to kick the leg out. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, big punch land. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. Worse. You have to 
All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. What a punch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. I want to see those takedowns. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, single collar tie now. Misses with the right hand. Beautiful head kick. Beautiful one. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will... Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt fast. Oh! Real sneaky body kick. Liver kick. Big punch lands through the middle. He's back in the clinch. Watch for the knees to start to come now. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big kick lands. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, collar tie. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, nice right hand. Big body kick. Nice strike. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. And he lands the knee to the body now. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Powerful leg kick lands. Nice shot to the body there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, wow! Huge head kick. Kick to the body by Lou. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Nice body kick right on the elbow. Single collar tie. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch lands. Oh, he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. There continue to be openings there. He targeted it effectively earlier in the fight, and the defense hasn't prevented him from doing so. If it's not broken, no need to fix it. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. 10 seconds now to go in the rounds. Oh, 
single collar tie here. Nice kick. Well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kicks. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Able to check that kick as well. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. He blocks the punch. Big punch land. Ooh. Head kick lands. really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. The right hand just misses. Good defense to block the strike coming back. He lands with the left. And they separate. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Just misses there with the left. Can't take many of those, you better check. All right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Nice punch there. A little single collar tie there. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Nice leg kick land. Single collar tie now. Right hand punch to the clinch. Nice punch there by Lee. Nice body punch. Now connects with a right. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Nice leg kick. Seconds to go. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Battling for hooks. Oh, wow. Oh! And this might just be a matter of time. So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. These passes do not. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You can't.
cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Lee. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Nice. Able to land the single ground strike there. This is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters you have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, the action continues here, and now as our next round gets underway, and man, these guys still look fresh as if they haven't even started fighting. It's be pretty impressive. Both of them have a huge reputation for being fit fighters, and it shows in the way they are approaching round number two. He's back up to his position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. And they separate. Nice hit. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big left hook there. Knee to the body. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And they separate. with the left punch there. And they set. Under three minutes now to go round five. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that nose. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Big kick lands. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. There you go, there you go. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Closed guard. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Pretty significant welt to the left side. 
Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and train down big strikes in your opponent. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He is at his kickboxing guest tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's going kick after kick after kick. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. I mean, this guy is really... Oh, big knees! He's in trouble. He's getting it up. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. decision now in the buff has it ladies and gentlemen after five rounds we go to the judges scorecards for a decision all three judges score the contest 50 44 declared the winner by unanimous decision Bruce the dragon Lee. well he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's fight to the best of your ability. He did exactly that.